Tell us exactly what your uh, view is of this and how it does change the landscape. Uh, if you permit me a little bit uh, on the impact of the pandemic, uh, you know, we are least affected by the pandemic, even though the April, May was a bad period because of lockdown. We are seeing incredible demand and also seeing incredible uh, usefulness of uh, the smartphones in the you know massive population of India. Now, coming to the strategies of uh, how we are trying to build a global scale industry, I think India's moment has arrived because of the massive uh, demographic dividend which India enjoys, which is, uh, which is also in sections and certain areas very well trained and extremely uh, uh, competitive in terms of the cost of uh, people and also in terms of their productivity. Uh, companies after companies have seen that India's productivity is extremely good and that's uh, giving them a very uh, strong sense of uh, moving manufacturing to India. We are not in you know competition with any nation, but I think we've been trying to like play a game of golf, improve our uh, disabilities, our handicaps, and that is slowly, uh, you know, the world has realized that India is a great place to do business and a great place to do electronic manufacturing also. Uh, so we have Marcus, grown... I mean, this... and, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, this whole package of, of incentives that the government's announcing, you know, does it go right to the, the heart of things? I mean, to the research and development, et cetera, not just simply um, for these companies to move in and uh, ultimately do less value-added things like assembly and packaging? Uh, so we are working it on two pillars. One is that the global value chains move here. Uh, India is a, is a very strong nation as far as design and development, R&D uh, and research, uh, the uh, ecosystem is concerned. Almost every chipset in the world is uh, designed in India. So we, we, are, we just have to close that gap, that final assembly, sub-assemblies, components, semiconductor ATMP, and the whole design coming together. So all of that, because of the volume uh, aspiration, which, you know, just in mobile phones, we are talking about a 700% growth, riding on the 1100% growth we've had in the last four or five years. So we are at about $28 billion, and we hope to climb to $190 billion by uh, 2025. And this will be accompanied by very profound, uh, uh, the design industry and the R&D and development industry. Uh, so the two pillars, global value Mr. chains, Mahindru? Indian champions. Yes, please. Mr. Mohindru, India's uh, mobile handset space has been pretty much settled by weak government policies, infrastructure issues, other structural issues like logistics and uh, the supply chain as well. Has anything fundamentally changed for India to take advantage of it? Uh, you know, this this is a, a, a this is a thought perception of the past that India is a country of snake charmers. Uh, when you, uh, I, I invite you to visit, uh, you know, whenever you can, and you will see incredible airports, uh, incredible logistics efficiency at the ports, uh, not only for passengers but for cargo, and some of the greatest expressways and highways in the world. Uh, it is in patches. It's not across the country, although the highway development is across the country. Uh, our power situation now, we are surplus in power, and the quality of power is extremely good. Uh, if you talk privately to any of the people who have shifted here, manufacturing here, uh, about the efficiency of the ecosystem here, they will tell you that you know they are happier than any other country in the world. Uh, and then there is the... You see, India is a country of minor irritants and not uh, a country which is not ruled by, uh, you know, it's ruled by the law. Our judiciary is independent, our policy makers are independent, and it has deep democratic values. So that gives a lot of sense of confidence to people that my IP, my patents are protected in this country, 
and uh, everybody is on a level playing field. You know, uh, we are, of course, trying to build our domestic companies because we think that India has a sweet spot in the entry level phones. Uh, as India, you've seen that we are very strong in motorcycles or uh, entry level tractors or generic farmer. Uh, so because India's population, we are say an entry level country to that extent. So we have about 14, 15% volume consumption of a lot of products, including smartphones, including right. phones. Our value is uh, smaller, but the volumes are very attractive. So uh, entry level products have a, have a great uh, market here. So the presumption is that entry level products, India will become a right. very, uh, big, uh, you know, an efficient and globally competitive market.